Yeah! Hola gang and welcome to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the day. And I do try things so you don't have to. Today is an unboxing. I am an unboxing a mystery subscription, monthly subscription box from Tokyo Treat. And this is legit. It comes from Japan. I kid you not. Would I kid you? See? See? You can't read that. Unless you're Japanese or fluent in Japanese. They sent me this subscription box full of goodies, snacks, whatever. Not sure exactly what's in it, but we is gonna find out. Okidok, Tokyo Treat. Ahoy. We got a book. A little booklet. And it says, Tokyo Treat, Life's a Beach, Volume 43, July 2019. She's all kicked back there on her inner tube, on her little... She's tubing it, tubing it into water. All right, so what has it got in here? Hey there, Tokyo Treat fam. With warmer weather on the horizon, we were feeling super inspired to bring you a summery box filled with snacks ready for a beach day. This month, you'll be receiving a lot of fun treats and a taste of summer in Japan. We hope this yummy selection of sweet and savory snacks inspires you to go outside and enjoy your treats in the summer weather we hope you enjoy this month's life's a beach tokyo treat box so it sounds like they have themed boxes which is cool scan me for a surprise it says it tells about all the treats that you can get and what they are nice book i like the way they do that it's not cheapy it's it's like a magazine type texture so it's real quality lucky treat mini contest discover Japan three amazing Japanese beaches you you just have to visit if you're in Japan let's learn Japanese oh this is cool I like this really well done guys all right so let's dig in to the snacks and find out what's in here this is full this is a full box and good sized treats it's not these little dinky little things wow what are these check these out Ooh. little individual it looks like little individual but they they still are perforated in the middle there tell you what i'm gonna grab the old guy goggles because i can't see the small print here i'm trying to find them here but i don't see anything that has the the little hand dude there at first i thought he was a squid <laughs> didn't he kind of look like a squid or an octopus or something but he's like a little hand dude and i can't find anything in the book that looks similar okay well i'll tell you what let's go ahead and rip one off here we've got one two three four of these and we'll open it up and see what they're like what they are tell you what before i start tearing everything apart here let me see how many pieces are in this this is a premium box they have like a regular I think it's a regular they have a classic and a premium and this is a premium box so there is one we're gonna count this all as one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so fourteen pieces in this box that's a lot of stuff okay back to the business at hand we're gonna open these things up and see exactly where they are and I lost my scissors found them I know I've smelled that smell somewhere before but I can't I can't place it okay that's what all these little things in there look like just a little thing with a hole it's 
try it. Oh, wow. I absolutely know exactly what these taste like. The problem is, I can't remember the, the what I'm trying to think of. They have a nice crunch to them. They're not like a, a Fritos texture. They're not hard, as hard as that. They've got a very slight saltiness to it. Very little saltiness. Nice crunch to them and really good flavor. I just wish I could tell you what they taste like. So I'm not sure if they're all the same. I, I think they probably are. They're just packaged a little bit differently to add a bit of variety. That's what I'm assuming. I'll, I'll get back to you on this. All right, next thing out of the box. These are peach mint Kit Kats. Right there, peach mint Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. Um, super exciting and unique flavor. They start off with a deliciously sweet peach flavor and finish with a delightfully minty freshness. Uh, oh, excuse me, there's your minty freshness for you. So, they're peachy and then they freshen your breath. Wow, what a combination. That's how they look right there. And of course, everything on the back is in Japanese, except for the peach mint. So I guess I could have found out just from the package itself. All right, they are all individually wrapped. So little teeny peach mint Kit Kat. And that is how they look unveiled out of the package. Ooh, it's uh, this smells I get a little bit of the peach, but mainly it smells like one of the Andes mints. Andes mints. Andes mints, I think they're A-N-D-E-S, I believe it is. It smells like an Andes mint. Oh my. These are absolutely lovely. This is a nice little teeny punch of flavor. Peachy and minty at the same time. I didn't know how that flavor combination was gonna work, but it definitely does. I love these things. Never had them before, first time. I'm in love. I'm gonna take a drink of water and cleanse my palate between all these things. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a big mashup going on in my mouth. The next thing out of the box is sour cream and onion. Doritos. It says limited, but this is not this is not a flavor that we have around here in the states, at least not where I am. I have never heard of sour cream. What is it? Sour cream and onion. Never heard of it. Man, their their bags are a lot thicker over there. I'm going to have to use the scissors on this one too. Usually I can pull a bag, you know, apart really easily, but these are these are thick. Well, <laughs> unlike the Kit Kats, the smell combination going on here, woo, smells like somebody's dirty socks. Here's what a chipoid looks like, sour cream and onion, sour cream and onion. All right, give it a shot. The smell is absolutely deceiving. These are really good. A creamy sour cream flavor and a nice sweet onion combination. Wow, these work. Next thing we're gonna try is a melon cream soda. If there's one Japanese drink you have to try, it's melon cream soda. This green soda is super popular in Japan and is enjoyed by children and adults alike. But what does this mystery melon flavored soda taste like? Pure happiness. I didn't know that happiness had a flavor. Well, actually, happiness does have a flavor. KFC hot wings. <laughs> so this is a regular size 12 inch can. And even the cans are thicker. Ah, it's going all over. Now I gotta get a rag. I should have known coming clear from Japan, it would have been shaken up somehow especially in shipping. All right, gotta tell. 
Now I got melon cream soda all over my shorts. That wasn't fun. Okay, let me pour this, it's still dripping. Let me pour this in a glass so we can see the color. So it definitely has a melon type of color to it. Ew, not really liking the smell of that either. It's not as bad as the Dorito smell, but it, it, it smells, it smells like old bath water. Let's hope it tastes better. I don't know why this is popular. I don't like this. It does have a, a, a melon flavor to it, but it's, to me, it's like a melon that's gone bad. Now, I don't like that one. They, they can keep that. Japan, you can, you can keep that. I, I don't want it. Okay, next thing out of the box is Anpanman Grape Gummies. A-N-P-A-N. M-A-N. And Pan Man wants to join you on your beach day. Bring him along for a yummy and juicy grape snack. What fun little gummies. <laughs> I really like reading this. I always appreciate the little mascots and stuff like that. The little ad icon type dudes that, that the Japanese put on their stuff. They're usually really cute. Woo! Opening this up. The grape just hits me in the face. So they come in a little a little container. Oh, there they are. Dig it. Dig the dudes. Dig the grape dudes. There you go. Grape, grape dudes. Doesn't want to come off real well. It's just peeling all over the place. I guess if you, yeah, it's, it's just being difficult. Oh, the plastic on here is a horror show. I can't get the plastic off. Um, of the back. I'm just gonna have to try and chew from the front forward, but once again There is a little grape dude. Let's see if I can do this without getting a mouthful of plastic It's just a very grapey grapey gummy um, I wish the plastic came off. It'd be nice to eat gummies or any kind of food without plastic on them. <laughs> but um, it's just got a nice grape flavor. It's, it's got a flavor of a grape soda. Okay, so for flavor, I like these. For convenience, I hate these. Okay, next thing on the list, Texas Corn Okonomi Yaki. O-K-O-N-O-M-I Yai? Why? Why is Yai now? Y-A-K-I. This soft corn snack is inspired by the Japanese dish Okinaki da da da. Whatever is a popular Japanese dish similar to a pancake made with a mixture of ingredients like cabbage, egg, meat, cheese, onion, and seafood. Have you tried blah blah before? No, I've never even heard of that, nor can I pronounce it. That's it right there. The Texas corn saga shakabasha la la ba. Woo! I, I thought being a, uh, saying it was like a corn chip was going to give me like a Fritos type um, odor, smell. Odor always sounds bad. Smell. But... They don't. Okay, so what am I smelling here? Maybe the cabbage? Or the onion? Or the seafood? I think it's maybe the cabbage and the seafood combination. Here's what these look like. Just little oval type light. They're, they're light. They're not, uh, once again, they're not like a texture of a corn chip of a Frito, but they're kind of a light puffy type thing. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Do another one. That's a lot of flavors going on. I cannot describe to you what this tastes like. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's light and it's it's not heavy 
and it's just got all those flavors that I read off, I guess, going on in my mouth. Um, they're good. They're interesting. Um, I wouldn't say they're my favorites, but they're, they, they've they got an interesting flavor to them. I, I do like them. All right, next is chocolate mint candy. So we have some more mint things. Mint lovers, you are in for another special treat inspired by Hokkaido chocolate chip mint ice cream. These little hard candies have a chocolatey mint outside and are filled with a chilled powder center. Isn't chocolate chip mint ice cream the best flavor for a beach day? Break into these bad boys. I need my scissors again. I'm not a weenie, I promise you. These are thick packages. All right, and each of these are individually wrapped too, so a fairly decent sized package and a bunch of these inside. All right, so they're sticky. They're sticky, and they're little round balls of uh, chocolate mint ice cream. Interesting. Give it a shot. You definitely don't bite down on these. You definitely suck these. If you bit down, you'd probably break a tooth. Or being an old guy like I am, I'd probably break a tooth. But these are really nice. The flavors of everything so far is just, just right there. Very minty. Chocolate chip, it tastes exactly like chocolate chip mint ice cream. The, the chocolate and the mint and it's got the creaminess of an ice cream. These are really good. All right, Umai Sugar Rusk. Rusk. Don't forget to bring this snack with you on your beach day. This sweet corn snack has a yummy, crispy, crunchy texture and is finished with a sweet, sugary flavor. So another corn-type chip, but uh, it's got a sugary flavor to it. Now those are really interesting, really interesting texture going on here. Uh, once again, kind of puffy, not like a Frito corn chippy type. I mean, when you tell me it's corn snacks, that's what I compare it to is, is Fritos, but that has like a, a, a very light texture going on. A little bit of thickness to it, let's give it a shot. Mmm. Got a light crunch to it, a little bit airy, and it's got a sweetness. So it's got a sugary type sweetness to it. So think of maybe a Frito that's an off brand with a little bit of sugar on it. That's what you got here. All right, keep on going here. Are you hanging in there? You guys okay? Okay, the next thing out of the box is a sour peach gum. These peachy gumballs are the perfect combo of sweet and sour. Hold on to your taste buds. You're in for a sour treat. I like the little happy sour gumballs on there. They're, they look like they're having fun. So they come in this little tray and that's what it looks like. It's got a weird texture to it. It's not like a gumball slick texture, but it's got a little bit of a, of a, a texture to it. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. A very soft. That's why it doesn't have that that slick candy type outer texture because it's like the 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 chewed uh, texture of a gum inside. You know what I'm saying? If you remove that outer shell, it's just soft. Just really soft. Nice peach flavor. The, the Japanese seem to like their peach. I would tend to agree with you. I get a little bit of a sourness, not very much though. I think the sweetness of the peach overtakes the sourness. I like this, but being a connoisseur of sour things, I think I'd like it to be a little more sour. Next thing is a mini chocolate bat. This is a fun and yummy treat that features five mini baseball bat chocolates. I thought they meant like a bat, like a creature, like a... a... And there's a look. It's got how many in here? 
one, two, three, four, five to a box. That, that's their idea of a bat, I guess. It's just a big, long chocolate stick. There you go. A chocolate bat straight from Japan. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. The texture itself kind of reminds me of the, the malted milk balls without the hard outer shell to them. You've got the chocolate on the outside, which is kind of a, a it's not a dark chocolate, uh, but it's not a milk chocolate. It's somewhere in between. And it's it's kind of a soft texture inside. It looks like a Twinkie and kind of. They're interesting. I don't think I would buy them um, if I went to the store and saw them. I don't think I'd get them. Okay, crushed Patico, Patico, P-O-T-E-C-O, four pack. This four pack features a salty potato ring snack. The salt is from Okinawa. I, I actually pronounced something. Prefecture in the south of Japan. Okinawa is famous for its tropical weather and beautiful sandy beaches, making this salty snack the perfect beach treat. So a salty potato ring. Oh, okay. Now I know, I, I didn't place that picture. This is what we ate at the very starting. That's what those are. So a salty potato ring, salty potato rings from Okinawa. Okay, a sherbet Perot cider. Dip into this delicious powder candy that pops in your mouth. This fizzy sweetness fills your mouth like a fizzy cider. I have a stinking feeling this is gonna be messy, so I'm gonna open it very gingerly. Not Mary Annie, but very gingerly. Okay, so there's powder down in the bottom. I can't read if it says you're supposed to do it a specific way because it's all in Japanese. I guess I'm gonna dip it as much as I can in that powder. I don't know how it's supposed to stick to it. But that is, that is what I'm looking at right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to scoop a little bit, like a spoon. Wow. Once again, a very in-your-face, smack-in-your-face type flavor. Very, very nice. Take a little bit more. It does kind of have a fizziness to it. It's very sweet. It tastes like some kind of fruit, some kind of unknown fruit. This is the, the snack of the unknown fruit. I like it. it it's not bad. It's kind of weird, um, The technically, the way you've got to do it. I mean, maybe if I took it and I put water on it, it would stick. I'm sure it would. So maybe that's the way to do it. Cider soft serve DIY snack. Oh, DIY, that means something you, you put together. I probably won't do this one, um, but I'll show it off. What better way to enjoy the beach than with soft serve? You can create your own soft serve ice cream cone with this DIY snack kit. It tastes like cider soft serve. And it looks like you're supposed to mix it with a liquid or something like that. Like I said, I don't know because it's the instructions for the specific item is in Japanese. This could be interesting. So we'll just put that aside and maybe once I'll do it, I'll uh, come back and let you know what it was like. We are down to the last thing. This is soda soft candy. We love taking a soda to the beach. So these soda flavored candies are perfect. When you eat them, it's supposed to be them, but it says then. Their sweet and sour taste envelops your mouth and leaves you with a refreshing soda taste and a hint of lemon. Yummy. It says yummy. I didn't put that in. It did say yummy. It smells like bubble gum. It smells like a, a sugary bubble gum. Reminds me kind of a, of a, a bazooka smell, but it, it's got a soda type smell to it too. And that's the way those look. Look kind of like that last bubble gum. Same type of texture, not a hard candy texture or a hard candy shell on the outside. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if they're 
different because it said sodas, but I mean, they're all the same color. Every single one of them in here look like this. So let's give it a shot. Hmm, bubble gum, soft bubble gum without the candy shell on the outside or the hard shell on the outside. And I'm gonna believe this is how their sodas, how what they consider a soda flavor. It's, it's sweet, it's sugary, it's nice. I thought that was the last one, but we do have one more. But wait, there's more. Okay, this last one, definitely last one, is ton, tonkatsu sauce amiibo. T-O-N-K-A-T-S-U and omebo, umebo is it, Alpo. <laughs> no, not Alpo. U-M-A-I-B-O. This month's Umabo is in, I'm sure I'm slaughtering this and you're laughing your butts off and that's quite all right. Is inspired by that delicious tonkatsu sauce you get when you order deep fried pork cutlets in Japan. That sounds kind of good. I've never had those. The sauce is similar to a Worcestershire sauce. See, I can't even say that, and that's right here. That's Americanized stuff. And is made, made from a mixture of vegetables. While the sauce is meant for tonkatsu, it's actually vegetarian. Okay, so this is a lengthy package. Kind of like, reminds me of the baseball thing. Oh, this is... It kind of looks like a, an egg roll, in a way. Check that out, it's got a little hole in the end that you can do the, the toot sweet thing from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with. All right, let's give it a shot. Hmm, that's nice. It's got, just like the other stuff, it's not a hard crunch, but it's kind of like this, this airy type of crunch to it. And it's got, I, I can see what they're talking about as far as the Worcestershire or however you pronounce it, sauce. It's got that kind of steak sauce flavor to it. Um, it's really interesting. I like this. Well, that is it, gang. That was a lot of stuff. A lot of really interesting good stuff, too, with the exception of that soda. That was musty, but everything else I really like. So that's the Tokyo Treat Box. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check these guys out. This is one of the better stack boxes that I've gotten. Quality stuff, nice size stuff, really tasty stuff. And I have to say that if I'd have to pick two things out of the box, I would choose as my favorites the Sour Cream and Onion Doritos. They should make these here in the States. I've never seen them. I think they should bring them here. And those chocolate mint, uh, those peach mint Kit Kats. These were very yummy. These were very yummy. I'd buy them both. If you're looking for a snack box, I would, I would recommend Tokyo Treat. All right, gang, thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. Follow me on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, straight across the board. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And um, follow me on my uh, website, yeah, the website, oldnerdreviews.com. And uh, tune in to the, to the podcast. I podcast on Mondays and Fridays with some variations sometimes, depending on what's going on. All links are down below uh, in the description, in the doobly-doo there. All right, do all that, and you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you next video. Bye now.